Yo, man, people are really mad at Dame for asking for a trade when people have been asking Dame to get a trade for seven years now. Like, I know this is a wrestling podcast, but if I was him, I would just send the offset tweet be like, y'all won. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, let's go ahead and get into it, dog. Tell him, I probably send your bitch to give me some chicken. If you ain't know it, love me, it's listen. Listen. Yo, once again, once again, you know, I would have some air horns, but I was uh, yelling at Jizzle about being unprepared and I was unprepared. So there are no air horns. There are no gunshots. You just got people. You got friendly faces. uh, You got us. And I don't know what else to tell you other than that. I'm actually stalling, trying to find my gunshots. Hey, Jizzle, you know what? You a real nigga because I'm going to echo you just like that. Right after you do that, you feel me? Okay. About me, you feel me? Don't even worry about me. I'm talking about it is all good. You feel me? Yo, so if you don't know, it's another episode, another edition. P3, we in the building. So, like we always do at this time, ladies and gentlemen, people with jobs, people without jobs, middle class, upper class, high class, all that. Cats, snakes, chickens, ducks, elderly people, and twerkers, we present to you another edition of the Public Enemies Podcast. This is episode 262 of Pro Wrestling's Breakfast Club. If I got that number right, you should like. Give me a round of applause or something like that. You feel me? Other than that, I go by the name Oh My God Graham. Jizzle, you ain't got to do that. You feel me? Trap McAfee's in the building. What's up with my guy? Uh, man, I am um chilling. You know, happy to be here. We're back like you guys complained about. So, yeah, here we are. Another episode. <laughs> This man said your love, your support, everything. It's just like, yo, that's complaining. Like, I <laughs> Yeah, man. I hear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Benny the Butcher's in the building. What's up with you, Ben? How you doing, bro? I would be doing better if I would have came out with Dixon's champion, but I- I'm here. I'm doing all right. Oh, I'm doing all right. Man. I'm making it. Scraping by, I guess. Salute to me. You know what I'm saying? All they right. don't even use this one no more. You feel that me? Belt gone. retro. This retro, y'all talking about, you feel me? Special guest in the building. Salute to my guy. What's up with it? Young Southside Gun, Marquise in the building. How you doing, boy? Man, I'm doing good, man. I can't even complain, man. Just another day, another dollar. For real, for real. America. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Fuck that place. This place. (laughs) Hey, bro, look, look, look. Let's just leave then. Look, look, look. We 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 passed the the time limit where I could where I could curse freely. I know. So we we gonna, we gonna get right into it. You feel me? Hey, I just be waiting for one of y'all. I just be waiting for one of y'all. And I be like, okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's good. Yes, it's good. Yes, Southside Gun in the flesh. And let's get right to you, my guy. How are you doing? You're doing well. It's good to see you. I'm doing great. Life is great. Um, personally, I've never been more happy in my life wow, in these right. 28 years. So I'm, I'm living great at this moment. Salute to you, brother. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I'm definitely glad to hear that. You said that you are, you feel me, the happiest that you've ever been. That is great. 28 years of life. Well, salute to you on that. <laughs> Got a question for you, my friend. Go ahead. You like the king of lists right now. Yes. Where did this list come from? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta know. Like, what was the, uh, what was the, the, the villain origin story behind this? <laughs> behind this, hey yo, men can't do this, men can't do that. I mean, it's a fact. You feel me? We see it every day. But you're up to like seven hundred plus or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, what, what's going on with that? How did that all come about? Seven hundred and seventy-four as of right now. Um, cause I just added something probably like 10 minutes ago during the main <laughs> event. Um, <laughs> so basically what happened was, um, cause I started it this year. I started in January, like beginning of the year. I was just bored, goofing around and I wanted to be funny. And yeah. all I did was I kept seeing a list of things that men 
couldn't do. I just they girls would just say what we can't do, or as as soon as I saw something like as man, it was just like, all right, let me just notate that. Yeah. And somebody commented and was like, uh, someone made a tweet and said, you know, what is there? What are men not allowed to do, basically? Mm-hmm. And that's when I did it the first time when everybody saw the list, I think, for the real first time and how long it was, because I think it was up to like 150 at that point. I just posted a video. It's just me doing a slow scroll Scrolling. all the way through. And so it became a running joke. Certain people don't have a funny bone, so they took it serious. Yeah. Or they try to just get on the list or say something just so that they can get a little notoriety. I don't really care about the the millions of followers who've seen it. I truly don't care. I, I just do it for fun at this point. Um, and it's just a... <laughs> take naps is definitely on there. Um, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> And so, I, like I said, it's just a running joke. Like, at this point, everybody who sees it, we all know at this point, it's a running joke. Everybody who's following me, who, like, I've been cool with from, like, the very beginning of me having a Twitter account, everybody knows I'm just making jokes, being silly. And Where you list, from? College Park, Georgia. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Yo. Okay. The okay. ultimate okay. outside. Yo, yeah, man. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I've heard. You feel me? That's what I've heard. You feel me? I, I, I'm I'm not one of them niggas, bro. I, I'm I'm cool, bro. I stay on this <laughs> side, bro. Nah, cool. it's all it's all love, man. I'm 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 a I'm very unserious, so I don't know why people would don't ever take me serious because I don't take this shit serious, for real. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I for sure got two more. Hey, yo, man, listen, man, men are not allowed to separate their colors from their whites. That's definitely you know what I'm saying. True. You know what I mean? You gotta put that on there. And like, yo, man, we're not allowed to do shit. <laughs> Brent in the chat says four guys on the podcast. Zesty AF, where the bees at? Like Uncle, D. right, right, right. Where the bitches? At? I mean, <laughs> the bitches in the t- <laughs> <laughs> having a podcast is all is a rule anyway. Like half yeah. these rules, I got memorized. The only, but the the funniest rule I can say um, is my favorite rule is rule number one eight seven because it's dying. Damn, man, <laughs> you know die what out here, seven blood. Means? It was un- unironically it happened, but that's rule 187. That's my favorite rule. <laughs> well, that's that's great. That's great. You know what I mean? I think it was like one like like uh like uh as a man, like how you gonna let another man kill you or something like that? Yeah, yeah murder. <laughs> yeah, like murder. That's on there. That's on there. That's a separate rule within itself. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's definitely a separate rule. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, man. Well, make sure y'all follow in Southside Gun to get all of the updates on uh, on what men is not supposed to do. You feel me? Is that, I don't yeah, y'all listen. figure something out. You know what I'm saying we all hey. doing something that y'all don't like. So he's, he's going to be the one that I'm saying that's going to keep score. It might be easier to read his list of 770 whatever things of what we're not supposed to do than try to figure out what. You know, we are able to do. Yeah. Is mind your business on your list? Mind your business has to be on your list, right? Like if we mind our business, then I think I think I think I think we may have substituted that for uh keep your peace. Or like (laughs) or like have like be sane or something like that. It's something of that variation, but yeah. Oh man. Okay. So so are you are you down to talk a little bit of wrestling with us? Absolutely. Oh man. Well, you know. With that said, I guess we can go ahead and get into small package news. I'll just run through a few things real quick. Uh, yeah, the P3 cipher continues, of course. You know what I'm talking about? Salute to uh, Victoria Crawford, formerly known as Alicia Fox. She recently did an interview in a tw- Twitch stream, if I could speak. <clears throat> a Twitch stream. I don't know what's going on with Alicia Fox, but she was saying a lot of things. Um and my mama told me that if you don't have any, you know what, I'm going to leave it at that. So, hey, check this out. Uh, Trench mm-hmm. and Fuego Del Sol are gone from AEW. Expiration. Hey, Tony Khan said he don't fire people. He just let their deals expire. You feel me? So I dig that. You know what I'm talking about? I'm with you. Salute to you. Lil Uzi Vert just sampled Shinsuke Nakamura's theme song on his recent album, The Pink Tape. Has anybody heard that? Yes. Y- 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 y'all rock with that? Y'all rock with that? Yo. Keith, what you think about that? Go ahead. I I rock with the second half of the album. Mm-hmm. 
I, I think 26 tracks, you take maybe the intro and track number four from the first half. Yes. And then <laughs> you start, you take those two songs and then you, and then right under it, you start at Nakamura and you go all the way down. The album's 10 out of 10 from that point. The first half is absolutely terrible, pointless to me. Second half, he was cooking. So I respect it. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. Definitely. That first song, that first song, I was like, okay, let me hear this. I was like, I see why y'all like this. I see, I see why these young niggas like this shit. Then after that, I was like, ah. I said, Nakamura, going straight to that. Then you're right. So yeah, shout out to Uzi. Yo, shout out, shout to, out to shout out to Nakamura song. Like if you had people who don't even really watch wrestling like that tapped in because they were like, yo, he sampled like a wrestler's theme song, and I thought that was cool. But you also had people that was gatekeeping. It was like, man, you didn't see him when he was wrestled uh, Tanahashi at Tokyo Dome, so I don't know why he was gonna say that in the song. And I'm like, bro. <laughs> yo, wait till Meek Mill tweets and be like, yo, man, U- yo, Uzi sang violins. Yo, Uzi Bro, sang violins. I don't, I don't want to see for, another Meek Mill tweet ever. Not for nothing, but do you remember when Meek Mill uh, sampled Undertaker's theme song and they Man, took that shit down? I knew he was going there. I knew he was going there. I, just, I loved it. <laughs> I just want to know. Yeah, like immediately. That is like that's like one of the worst songs I've ever heard in my life, bro. Is it was it t- Miller, so is bad. It <laughs> How you you lose the you losing the beef and then you do that? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what he did, man. And then you know, just this past weekend, he was in the bathroom in the Hamptons taking pictures on the floor. Of his hand. Too much liquor. Too much liquor than my hands is perfectly centered. All right, me. Nah, Listen, me. It's all bro. good, man. Nah, <laughs> wrestling. Bro, I don't care. I don't care how fucked up I am. I'm never laying on a public bathroom yeah. floor at that's all, y'all. Man. Y'all niggas weird. It's Michael Rubin's Hamptons house. Wrestling fans okay. fickle though, because <laughs> Westside Gun been using WWE samples for God knows how long, and they mm-hmm. give him the same energy they gave Uzi. I don't know why. That's Uzi, but I can tell you exactly why, Mister Southside Gun, because Mister Westside Gun did not attempt to clear those samples before he used them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's, what's the name of the, uh, what's the, name of the announcer dude man, that was like, "Yo, uh, you can't Greg use my Hamilton. voice." Yeah, yeah, Hamilton? that man was tight, yeah. bro. Yeah, was yeah, like, he, he, he my was boys. Uh, I'm he gonna was see the, you guys. He was gonna he in his, uh, YSL Rico, pretty much. Yeah, uh, no. he was uh, a cousin. Later. And there you go. You feel me? Last thing on uh, small package news this upcoming weekend, Alex Hammerstone will defend the NLW World Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> you like my announcer voice <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> against man. Alex Kane. And never say never. MLW, man, yo, check this out. Do what you do, do what you supposed to do, and hand over the joint to the boom I yay, boom I yay, boom I yay. You know what I'm saying? Kang. Kang suplex. You know what I mean? Like, listen, man, you know who I'm picking because. <laughs> you know Marcus Kang, man. Hey, listen, bro, check this out. Behind enemy lines, alumni going crazy. Alex Kane finna smack Alex Hammerstone around. You feel me? Bollywood Boys was just on Dynamite tonight. We going up. It is what it is, man. Salute to them. Right, They're going bro. crazy. You see what happens when we, you know, when they when they part ways with us, they start going up. You know what I mean? <laughs> listen, man, I don't know what it is, man. Like, we, are, we, are, we the, are we Midas? We might be Midas. Listen, I need 19 suplexes in the first seven minutes. Big K. You know what's going to happen? I need, I need 19. 19. Because you can hit like six of them, say six of them in a row, and then turn it into something else, into another suplex in a row. Like, yeah, yeah. man. I need that. Take that belt. Nah. Speaking nah, of belts. Man, I supported this man becoming world champion when he said he wanted to suplex Eddie Winslow off a building. I was like, this yeah. is my guy yeah. right here. Yeah. yeah. This is my guy right here. Get out. Get out. It's, <laughs> it's time. It's, it's time, man. It's time for a change. It's time for a change, really, at this point. They got it. It's got to be K. <laughs> Salute to G Nation. Salute to Chris. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, go crazy, man. Hey, check this out. <clears throat> Battle of the Belts was announced for Another July one? the 15th. That is a Saturday. So that is going to be AW Super Saturday. I, I just made that up. Don't, don't listen to me. But Collision is, of course, on Saturdays. 
and then they're gonna have Battle of the Belts seven. Did I say seven? Seven. Yeah, are any of these one? important? No. Now, Collision <laughs> that same night does have the tournament finals for the Owen Hart Foundation Memorial Tournament. There's a lot of words in that. Now, I got to know, what do you guys think? I think uh, the final four is Punk, Hobbs, Starks, and Samoa Joe. Who's winning this? Hey, don't um, CM Punk and um, FTR ball look like a before and after picture? All right. Uh, uh, no. but I'm picking CM Punk because of look, this has to be in his contract, right? And it has to be on collision. I have to win on Saturday, and then I have to win the Owen Hart because – I love the hearts more than anybody over here because I'm CM Punk. And I still have an answer for what I've done in the last year, but Damn my elbow's okay. And I want to win this. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to pretend I know what the tournament bracket looking like. Who, 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 what's the bracket looking like right now? Final four, Samoa Joe, CM Punk, Ricky Starks, powerhouse ops. Oh yeah. Yeah. Definitely CM Punk. Like, yo, Definitely CM Punk. Yeah. See, see CM Punk, CM Punk win it. I think hmm. what I want to happen is well. Punk does a job for Powerhouse Hobbs. That's what I want. Shit. I, that would mean him getting his win back from Ricky Starks. Then he beats Punk. That catapults him to somebody you got to take serious at this point. They're not going to do it, but, I mean, a man can dream. It's just gonna be it's it's gonna be uh Phil Brooks. Philip. Elon, 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 Elon says Ricky Stark's uh gonna win Punk touched the trophy, which is bad luck. He definitely did touch the uh, trophy. He definitely touched the he definitely touched the he trophy. I thought touched it. it. I can see that. I was as soon as he touched the trophy, I was like, boom, bad luck, superstition. You're not supposed to do that. You feel me? And he looked dead in the camera before he did it. <laughs> so he was trying to send a message of something. You feel me? But, I, bro, I don't also, believe that's bad luck. I seen this man. I mm-hmm. seen this man bounce the Undertaker's urn off his arm with supposedly Paul Bear's ashes in it. Like, yo, man, I believe this man could do anything. He lost that. That's in the trophy. I know he lost that match. He definitely lost That's that a bull- match. I know, he did. No. I know he lost that match. No, I'll go I even further back. No, right. this, boy, this, boy, this boy Ramon. I'm believing him now. It can't be twice. The, um, straight underneath the ladder. You know what I'm saying? That's way bad looking one. So, listen, if anybody yeah. can do it, it's the man that's getting paid the most. And I get paid more than all you people in this goddamn tournament. So. Andy says Stanley Cup curse for the culture. Yeah, see, the thing is with that, I was thinking, yeah, as soon as he touched it, maybe he's not going to win. But in that first promo on Collision, he came out with, there with that bag and said, this is mine until somebody pins me or submits me for it. So I don't think he's going to lose a match until like he loses like a big match. Well, he I kind of like feel him. like he's going over here. They're not gonna lose, and he's not gonna lose on free television. I don't know. Nah. It, like it's gonna have to be at a big show. Him losing on free TV is absolutely pointless. Mm. Hey, what's the women's final four? I, I have somebody, no idea. I see somebody what's going Sky on Blue up in there. So Sky yeah. Blue's in it. Sky uh, Blue and Ruby Soho on one end. Well, uh, Ruby, yeah, yeah. Ruby yeah. being yeah. Sky Blue, Britt Baker. All right, Britt Baker is gonna be Britt Baker. Ruby lost to Ruby. Yeah, Ruby yeah. beat uh, Britt Breaker tonight, so she's oh, moving she on to. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, they they cheated. Yeah, they cheated. Escape on, yeah. yeah, so true. Ruby's moving on to take on uh, Sky Blue. Yeah, what's up with Friday? Oh Ruby, oh, Ruby got it. Yo, Sky Blue definitely got to win that. Damn, who's gonna win? There that? you go, G Nation, Willow, and Athena, real nigga. Ah, uh, yeah, Athena's winning the whole thing. There you go. So yeah, she she I mean, yeah. asses over there. I ain't gonna yo, lie. she's like yo, she's like yo, man. <laughs> <laughs> She folding people over there. Yo, I, bro, bro. I don't want. I want zero parts of her at all. Like she folding bro, people over there. Man, folding, 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 folding women over there like like comforters. Just, just. Nah, like when you have to have debates online, people are like, like genuinely concerned. They're like, "Yo, is this a work? She just shooting or whatever?" Like, yo, that's how I knew. Yeah, it's none of your business. Be fucked with watching to shut up. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, Brent. I. Already forgot what I said, so whatever. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Um, oh, all in 
seventy k, seventy five, right? Seventy five. It was seventy four eight hundred and some. You feel mm-hmm. me at the beginning of the week? No matches announced. Of course, no matches announced. No features. We're assuming they're going with Osprey and Omega as you know one of the main events, but we got nothing else, and they got seventy five thousand tickets sold. Y'all think they're gonna sell this out, Marquise? What yes. you think? Yes. Yeah? They yes. sell it out. They, it, 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 yes. <laughs> Not a cool. if they can get they can get Brian if Brian can get back in time mm-hmm. to even do an appearance, some light guaranteed. But I still feel like. They're going to pull something out the hat. They're going to pull somebody out of nowhere. They're going to make some big, giant dream match we've never seen. And it's going to be an absolute barn burner. So I, I know for a fact they're going to sell it out. Wait. Goldberg versus Wardlow. Oh, um, Lord Jesus. I'm going to throw up. And my big, meaty men slapping meat. That's all I can see. Hey, does it do 80,355 people like um, SummerSlam 92's? Um, Vince McMahon's um, Charlie yeah, Wilson numbers. I, I think they're breaking that. They're definitely breaking that. Yeah, well, they got seventy five with no matches. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think yeah. They, once they start announcing the matches, like every match on that card is going to be damn near main event. Like they're not going to be trotting out small mid carders. They're going to go biggest match they can find. That's so, <laughs> All I can say is, like, WWE better start thanking Tony Khan for this one because they've been talking about for years, man, we can't have another big show over there. We don't know if the market is viable or whatever. We don't know, you know, if we could do a WrestleMania over here, we could do numbers. It's kind of like when when Disney was putting all their stuff on Netflix to see if they could have, like, their own streaming service. That's what that is. They're like, yo, y'all go out there. <laughs> y'all see if y'all can sell out the Wembley. Y'all see if y'all can sell out Wembley. <laughs> And we'll just come out there and say, you know what? Y'all want a WrestleMania? You know, just test the waters. Bro, That's all that was. Bro, they sold out Wembley in 92 with Bret Hart versus British Bulldog. Oh, it ain't 92 oh, no more. Crack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bret, I'm fucked. <laughs> bro, you think, you think they can't do two nights at Wembley next year? Hey, nah, listen, they can't listen. do next year. They can do whatever the they can do. <laughs> no, they can't, bro. <laughs> they literally can't. They literally can't. They have I WrestleMania watched. booked up for the next two years at least. Exactly. So it's like, like I, I don't know what the point of trotting John Cena out to go talk about that with them niggas. No, other than he's talking too much, he's chatty. He, he, yeah, chatty. he was campaigning, but I don't see them going to London anytime, anytime soon. soon. Yeah, yeah, it probably. Won't, I feel like it won't be until like twenty thirty. Not for Mania. It has to be like 45 or something, like something that has to be like a five, like divisible by five or two. But you know what I'm saying? Just a man, you know what I'm saying? Threes, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. What they do on Dynamite? Oh, yeah, man. They talked about blood and guts. Uh, Blackpool Combat Club versus the Elite. Of course, there are two uh, unfilled slots. This is a five on five. Uh, We got uh, Hangman, Kenny, and the Bucks against uh, Yuta, Mox, Claudio, and Takeshita. Does Ibushi show up? Like, how do they round out these teams? You feel me? Like, and then maybe uh, Shota Umino, you know what I'm saying, on the other side, you know what I'm saying, Moxie, little bro. Man, <sighs> that's going to be Daniel Bryan with one arm. You know what I'm saying, he's going to wrap his arm up like a pass really? rusher with a broken arm. You know what I'm saying? Like that club. He's going to come in there with that club. So. <laughs> Put a brace Just- on it. Give him, nah, give him the, uh, what was it, the Lex Luger, you feel me, the, bam, the, you know what I'm saying, oh, the, the, little, the, the little, titanium the plate. Get the little titanium yeah. plate. <laughs> yeah, you feel but me? kill Bret Hart in Vegas with that. Stiff-ass clotheslines. But in front of white bitches with um, flaming mirrors, like, what? Come on, blood, you gotta do me better than that. Nah, uh, hey, salute to you, white bitches, flaming mirrors, sounds like a good time to me. In Vegas in 93. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, um... Blind Eliminator Tournament. Y'all feeling this, uh, the MJF, Adam Cole thing? No. The back and forth. Are we friends? Are We are friends. I think it's funny. <laughs> like, I know this is not going to end well. I know it's going to end with them, like, with MJF turning on him and everything like that. Like, I already knew that was a dead giveaway when MJF starts, like, oh, you're my buddy and my pal. So I was putting his arm around you. Got custom merch. Custom merch, like, off a tag team that's just been mashed together is a bad sign already. Shout out to Y2, uh, AJ. 
R2 AJ. <laughs> like that's like already a sign. Like, but it it's funny. It's funny right now. Like, especially with him coming out doing the full entrance right alongside Adam Cole. And Adam Cole's just like at the end of it when they had like the birthday segment in the ring, like finally just being like, you know what? You're not that bad. And just like letting him like kind of be friends with him, like letting his guard down, but we all know where it's gonna go. But I'm I'm you know, I'm just along for the ride. Marquise? I <laughs> at first I was very skeptical. And then I was watching Adam stream when Max called him. Okay. <laughs> That's what sold it for me. That's when I was like, okay, hold on. They're really going full BTE with this. Like they're doing this outside of the parameters of the show. Mm-hmm. When he called him on stream, like it didn't feel like it was for, it felt like a real phone call where this man is really trying to like get off the phone and Max is holding him hostage. And we've all had that conversation with somebody that held us hostage on the phone. You trying your best to get off and man, he, they just keep talking to you, keep bringing up something else. As soon as he said, I'm going to go, it felt awkward. Like I was like, does he feel like, is he in the mood to really play Halo right now? I don't think he's in the mood. Like, I feel like he just wants to chill. Right now, Max just messed up the whole vibe. <laughs> this sure reminded me of when um, when um, MVP and, and Matt Hardy was running around with each other. That was fun. <laughs> that was the greatest one. That's yeah, the best me. one of all time to me. But I like yeah. like I like that whole like will they coexist? Because like yo, you know they're not. But like if we feel like we can, like I understand plenty of um, makeshift tag teams win tag titles, but this is going to lead up to a little match, but yo, I like that shit. It's a but whole it, bunch of two-man power trips, bro. Yo, a whole bunch of two-man power trips, and if you complain about the other ones, complain about this one. I don't give a fuck if you like these guys or not. So, the teams are, of course, Adam Cole and MJF, uh, Keith Lee and Swerve lost tonight to uh, Darby Allen and Orange Cassidy. They move on. Um, Sammy Guevara and Daniel Garcia are a team. We don't have brackets for this tournament. We don't know how many teams <laughs> are in this tournament. We nah, don't know. They, they, they just be springing them on you, bro. They, they just, just like, oh, yeah, well. Uh, it's literally blind. They came like out Daddy with Butcher Magic. And, yeah, Butcher and Daddy Magic. And then Matt Hardy and Jeff Jarrett. And yeah. then they came out with Brian Cage and Big Bill and Trent Beretta and Matt Sidell. Where are they getting... Where's the bracket? Where yeah, who's you letting, who's letting Trent Beretta do anything without um, <laughs> Orange Cassidy, first off? Forget where they're getting all these names and putting them together from. Where did they find Matt Seidel? Like, where, like where's he been? He's been at ROH. ROH? ROH? Yeah. Okay. He's been at ROH. He's a champ, right? They, listen, they got as many matches as an Uzi album, you feel me, every week. I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm sorry, but I seen this earlier. Yo, Elon said, like, yo, for Darby Allen with him, yo, if he do, yo, me, don't do it, me, please. Don't do it. Tony Khan was at that party, too, by the way. Uh, uh, the all-white party? party? Yeah, at the all-white party. He was there last year, too, but he was there this year. Uh, he took a picture with Michael Strahan. Look, yeah. Grant Williams was there. Who let, who, 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 who invited Grant Williams? Uh, bro, the Illuminati was there, clearly, because there's had a lot be. of suspect photos. There's a <laughs> lot of stuff going on. I don't yeah. know what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Salute the people. So, yeah, when, when did French Montana get braids? Uh, a he year had ago? braids? Two years ago? Something like that? Yo, word. It's so been I'm a minute. I, yeah, yeah, so sure. I got jokes, huh? Yeah, that's, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I, I got a question. So, you said the Illuminati was there. Gotta so, is, is Tony Khan part of the Illuminati or is he like trying to get in there? Because, like, maybe that would save the collision numbers right now because they they doing nah. bad. See, what happened was Tony Khan was at the party, right? And then he was going to try to get into the Illuminati, but Kid Cudi had to leave early. You feel me? So, he couldn't take him to the actual meeting. You feel me? So. There you go. Cross was there. That's his point. <laughs> if you've seen House Party, <laughs> you know, you know? Cuddy, I, I hate Kid Cudi. He's horrible. He's a horrible person. What? He's a horrible individual, a horrible artist. Uh, I never wow. want to hear anything from him ever again. He had two good songs. Two. I'm with you. Wow. You don't, so, you. so, so, so you don't like Common 
is what I'm no. saying. That's what I'm picking up here. What? You don't like to hear the humming. Bro, if I want to uh, hear yeah. humming, I'll listen to Travis Scott. He yeah, does some now. Ricola or something. Yeah, he, 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 hums, he hums better than Kid Cudi. So I'm, I'm with Oh, you. <laughs> not Kid Cudi slander. Uh, are you a Kid Cudi fan? I'm so sorry. Am I? Not? Bro, I have. I'm literally collecting all his vinyls right now, bro. That's a horrible decision, man. I wish you would. <laughs> That's crazy. That's, That's crazy. crazy. I've been wow. I've been a Cuddy fan forever, bro. But you can listen, man. The fiasco will feel way better. Hey, hey. I mean, maybe, maybe, I mean, maybe I really a, hate Kid Cuddy. Maybe I'm a big Coyle Ray fan, and I saw the rating that you gave her album. Chill. Man, I've been planning. Out with that <laughs> block, man. <laughs> out with that. Bro. They cooked. <laughs> was Yo, like, oh my god. <laughs> I had I had national publications like Complex yeah. calling me a goddamn hater. So, so you don't want to catch another flight? <laughs> I had I said one thing and she went on a whole marketing rollout tour for her album talking about mm-hmm. what I said. Yeah. That's why she catching these jokes. She and it still won't stop. It. She still And the album it. sold well, I'd have had to delete my uh, whole entire account. But it didn't do uh, it. I'm good. <laughs> That album did terrible. That album with double uh, paper towel. It's crazy. It's crazy. Bro, it was like, what, 102 on the Billboard Top 100? Yep, 102. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's I crazy. Think I. Yep. Mm-hmm. Salute to Coyle Ray, man. Uh, no, yeah, instead of attacking me, download or join. Uh, Don't salute listen, about. Listen, listen, baby, I wish you well. You feel me? You know what I'm talking about? Come, come I, holler at me. I wish you, you get me? better skills. Yeah. You yeah. rap better. Yeah, stop using yeah. damn James Brown samples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that was featuring James Brown was fucking nuts. <laughs> I, I said, wait, what? Point. I said, is this James Brown? Is she, well, is she serious right now? The last better, time, yo, name me a better Benzino yeah. song than that player shit. We gonna throw the party, rock the party, drink the coffee, booty, drink the coffee, booty. booty. <laughs> you know the lyrics to a Benzino song? Double penny. Oh my god, on, man. man, 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 because girls are double penny. too. Yes, indeed. Not yes, double indeed. copper. Oh my well, god, got nothing he better than his daughter. Hey. <laughs> nothing. Tweet that shit. I'm gonna tweet that shit when we yeah, done. Zeno, yeah. Zeno is Del Curry of his family. <laughs> But he's definitely Del Curry of his family. Oh, God. Oh, my okay. gosh. All right, man. Let's go ahead and move on. Anything else on uh, AEW tonight that was anything remotely important? They did some dope shit. We talked about that. Oh, real quick, before we move on, because there's one thing that we didn't mention. Roderick Strong got beat the fuck up on Collision. Oh, That's man. why he got, we got, the he got stretched it out. Coming back up between uh, CM Punk and Samoa Joe, it was a warning shot. Bow, you feel me? Southside gun. Bow, you know what I'm talking about? But um, Roddy was on Dynamite tonight. He said, What's up with you and MJF, Adam? How come you guys are friends? I don't know. Is he going to turn on Adam Cole? Nah, I, I'd beat CM Punk's ass if I was him because CM Punk was out there watching him get his ass beat by Samoa Joe. And Dang, then, the shit. I, then was the you. That's what I was gonna like, say. Why are you putting your hands on him? You can leave him alone. But like, you just saw him slam this man and didn't do nothing. Well, what am I you supposed saw to him do? get the chair, bro. Look, you saw him pick him up and hold him for a good little minute before yeah. he dropped him on his head. Yeah. Is it CM FTR back break? Or is it CMFTR? Like, listen, you ain't gang, dog. Listen, man, listen, come on, Joe. Oh, well, then why slide why the ring at the end? Like, well, exactly. Because well, Adam was already there checking on Roddy. So what did Punk need to... Like, Punk had to be the center of attention in that moment. Now, he made it about himself. And this man fighting for his life, getting stretched out, and you made it about you. Samoa <laughs> Joe be... Just some more Roddy... Joe. I don't think Roddy would turn on Adam because I feel like you got to bring Kyle O'Reilly in the situation. I feel like yeah. uh, I feel like Roddy wouldn't turn on Adam unless Kyle was there. No, Kyle got to beat up Bobby Fish just because. <laughs> just you feel me on don't, off we, day? We don't mention Bobby Fish. Yeah, just pull up. On, on you leave day. Bobby Fish where he is. Yeah, man. Beat him up on like a little. Where is the line? <laughs> And look in the mirror. Just go ahead. Take a quick look. I promise you, you'll see it. I promise you. Ass whooping Tom's lunch. Man. Yo. 
I got one more thing to say about AEW before we move off of this. So, uh, so Jungle Boy pulled up, and he's requesting like a uh, match for the FTW title against Hook. And I have a theory why Jungle Boy really turned heel. What if it's like when Barnacle Boy wanted to be called Barnacle Man, and oh, Jungle no. Boy has been wanting to call be called Jungle Man all this time? But he hasn't wanted to admit it. Like, what if it's something nah. like that? Nah. <laughs> That's a- what, what if you what if they, if they start calling him Jungle Man? What if he's he might turn he might turn baby mm. face again? Hey, what if he just wanted to you, win a belt and then defend a nine hundred two one zero days? <laughs> you, you was cooking for you was cooking you was cooking for a Yo, second. And just then, and then you, you 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 lost me. When you made the comparison, like you, you was cooking for a the quick jungle second. man, you barnacle know. man, you feel me? I, I'm with you. Just for I that, think, uh, yeah. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I think it's not actually, it's not actually a bad idea. Like if they, I feel like they can realistically do that. Like they could justify it by saying he wanted to be a man. So he wanted to be Barnacle Man. <laughs> and he wanted a full size Krabby Patty, too. Listen, I don't have any SpongeBob drops, but I have. <laughs> Good shit. Oh my God. You ready to go to question of the week, my friend? Yeah, sure. Let's, let's go. All right. Well, if you got the mail key, you can go ahead and check because uh, I lost hey. mine. We was on hiatus. I was at this bitch house. You feel me? And I just I I left it and my do rag. It's crazy. You feel me? But hey, man, do your thing. Y'all talking about? Yo, you said right. we was on hiatus and I was at my bitch house. <laughs> Yo, question of the week this week. Which match would you like to see on the SummerSlam card? Charlotte Flair versus Asuka versus Bianca Belair, Bianca Belair versus Charlotte Flair, or Asuka versus Io Sky? We also took a poll on this too, but you you guys gave us your individual answers as well. Uh, 47% said Flair versus Asuka versus Bianca Belair. That sounds like a good one right there. Uh, shout out to 804 Confidential. Just want Io to set whoever and turn up like the way she did in NXT. Like, bro, that's that's what we all want. Japanese, bitch. Uh, shout out to G underscore Nation 23. Asuka versus Io Sky, only because the golden girl Charlotte more than likely going to win the other two matches listed. All right, look, she might go on a little vacation again. You never know. Uh, shout out to Young Black underscore man, Bianca Belair versus Oscar versus Charlotte. Shout out to No Bad No. Definitely a triple threat. Bianca can do this again. That's when she hit the double KOD and NXT. You know, shout out to Kyrie, definitely. Uh, shout out to Wrestling Fan, Bianca versus EO2. Nah, I'm trying, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely trying to see that again. All of these sound good. Uh, shout out to I'm Dustin Kyle, Oscar versus EO, I feel would be perfect for a SummerSlam card and would be an incredible matchup. Uh, let me see. They want to say if they want to push Oscar versus EO, then I guess the triple threat would be second best option. All right, let me go down through here. Uh, let me see. Shout out to Mr. Unknown. Raw needs EO. And I'm gonna I'm gonna end it off right here with David Johnson at Big Fella Edit 79 Triple Threat. And then EO cashes in and beats the winner. I simply want EO to walk out champion. We all do. Yo, he said, give me all of them. <laughs> he said, yo, which yo, which one got the black which one got the black woman in it? That's one A I and B. <laughs> I, I want Ab. Okay, you want Ab. Uh, Instagram, let's see, AJ of 
RDP says A or B. All right, come on, bro. A or B plus C. You got it, my G. Uh, Sheena, salute to Sheena. I think Sheena's in the chat. She says uh, C for uh, EO and Asuka. And Deja says between A and C. Uh, on the Instagram poll, however, let's see who won that one. If I can find it. Okay, so boom, here we go. All right, so on the Instagram poll, the triple threat was 38%. Uh, Flair versus uh, Bianca was 14%, and Asuka versus Io won with 48%, according to the Instagram friend of me. So salute to them, salute to y'all, salute to Twitter. Fuck Elon. Straight up. Straight up. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, my bad. I, I don't want to ignore the chat. My apologies. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Hi, Hound says C. Saul so says, I hope it wasn't a velvet do rag. That's hilarious. Uh, Andrew says, uh, Oscar versus EO. Brent says, C is too early. Uh, let's see. Elon says, uh, B, so Bianca can be all for the horsewoman. Yep, that's that's pretty much yeah. going to happen. There you go. All right. Keith, what you think? I don't want EO to cash in that contract at all. Not now, not in the next month, not at SummerSlam. Give us a contract cash in that's been festering. Mm-hmm. That I want Dolph Ziggler esque minus the losing part of him having that contract because he lost a lot yeah. as the as the holder. But it would make more sense for her to just be doing her own thing with Bailey, and they have their own little thing going on over there. And then eventually she cashes in on what's going on with the women who are actively involved in the title picture, whoever that may be at the time. But build a storyline. Don't just do a cash in just for the sake of having a damn cash in. Like they've been doing that with the women for years. I feel you on that because you got to look at it like literally the cash ins have been like same night. Or within a month of like winning it, like outside of uh, yeah, outside of uh, Carmella, it's really been like immediate cash ins, like same night, same night, same night. I agree with what you're saying. The women you haven't gone outside back. of a week. Yeah, Carmella's the only person to have ever held the contract for more than two days. Like oh. I think it's two seventy three or something like that. Yeah, she held oh. it for almost a year, which. In, in theory, was a good idea because even though they didn't build a story for it, it literally came out of nowhere. Because mm-hmm. we almost had forgotten she was even money in the bank when at the same time. So when it actually happened, it was a genuine surprise. And I would rather them just build a story around the damn contract rather than you just having her cashing in just because you want to have this big shock moment. Like... Mm-hmm. Do a story. You can you can do it. It's not hard. It's, it's right in front of you. You have the people to do it. Do a damn story. In order to do that, you're gonna have to give Bailey one of them belts. Now, get Bailey one be, of them belts. Be you know what I'm saying? I agree. Get Bailey one of them belts. You know what I mean? That way you can get this little um this little damage control um situation out the way that y'all been bitching about. You know what I mean? I'm saying that you can bring Dakota back. You know what I'm saying? Dakota, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying heal up, you know what I'm saying shit out to her. You know what I mean? Get better for that knee. And then, like, she can be like, oh, my God, who am I going to pick? Are we going to coexist as a group? You know what I'm saying? Like, get Bailey one of them belts, and then you let us, I'm going to cast it by my, my contract on you. When? Mm-hmm. You'll know. <laughs> but just know. I'm going to cash um, in on you. Sheena yeah. says uh, it'll be a chance to build a strong women's story outside of the title. And Which I agree with that. They need. Yeah. 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 And uh, also, like, not for nothing, uh, there was a report. Uh, earlier this week that the idea behind the Oscar Bianca Charlotte revolving feud thing is to build Oscar back up and kind of make her like a wanted champion with a target on her back and she have to overcome like those obstacles and you know so hopefully they don't just like kill that whole thing and be like all right get a title to Charlotte again. No, nah, if, if I can miss you and kick you in your face, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm up two on you already, so, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that, my friend. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch gears, and let's talk about... 
<laughs> All right, I guess we can go ahead and keep talking about the women. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, Ronda Rousey <laughs> reportedly uh, has a hard out oh my from God. WWE <laughs> and wants to work a program with uh, Shayna Baszler before she leaves, which is why uh, apparently we're seeing this whole program pop up out of nowhere with uh, the two former besties. You feel me? Okay, so what was the point of you like complaining and going to Vince and doing these interviews, and stuff like that, where you were talking about, I want to build the women's roster back oh, up, man. the women's tag team division back up, just to be like, all right, man, y'all take it easy. I'm out. I- I'll see y'all later. It don't make sense, bro. This woman is a psychopath. <laughs> bro. Bro. No, get it out. Get it out. Get yeah. It out. Get it out. Cause I'm, cause nah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm you you might need to you. you you might need to ISO Ben. Like I feel like you got some strong oh, feelings. Yeah, you you, <laughs> no, you, got, you got a lot going on. He's right. He's a hundred percent right. She sat yeah. there and complained the entire time and practically begged for the tag titles, and yeah. she got they gave her what she asked for. She still found a way to complain, and now you just you just want to quit. You just want to be done. You got articles or nothing either. Everything you asked for. Literally, you walked in the company, they pushed you, they gave you every single match that you ever wanted. They paid you so much, they gave you literally ended up having to force somebody out of the company because they prioritized you. And you still found a way to complain. Like the tag, the women's tag division was specifically supposed to be designed around Mercedes and Bailey. Then it was supposed to be Mercedes and Trinity. Didn't happen. We all know the story. We all know what happened. Either way it go, Ronda got what she wanted. It's still not enough, so you're going to leave. So what was the point of asking for all of that in the first place? I just need articles. I need articles. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying they were crying in the back. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I didn't see none of that. I mean, what did I like about? Uh... Okay, so check this out. I didn't like the. Uh, I didn't like the turn at Money in the Bank. Oh my god! Because you just. You you've been fighting with me for like the last ten minutes against these hoes. Uh-huh. But you, but you but hey, how you ever just been like so sick of somebody and like like the straw that broke the camel's back? You were just like I haven't seen somebody get smoked with an M in the middle of their forehead since Rick Ross jumping off a diving board. Like I was just it was upset, bro. it was so the, crazy. The turn made no sense because they didn't even hint at it during yeah. the match. Bro, or just right did a normal and, tag in. To the back, like you always Bruh, do. We've been friends then, for so long, though. Like we've been friends for so long. Like when you've been friends for that long, like if I like, well, I'm just like, that's it. You know what I'm saying? She did what? You know what I mean? Punch her in the back of her head. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't even care about this. You no couldn't more. have these feelings ten minutes ago before this match started. You had to wait <laughs> until yeah, right. You waited <laughs> literally ten minutes into the match, and then you did it. What? Hey, have, have you ever been doing eight minutes of work at work? And then somebody come in a minute and a half and say that they did something and you yelled at them? I mean, yeah, but that's not the point. The point that's, is... That's the point, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I could choke you out right here. I'm going to choke you out right here in front of Liv Morgan and um, girl like she, she literally just decided. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm done. That's it. Like that was, that was like, that was like basically like quitting in the middle of your shift. You feel me? Like you feel me? Like, I'm going on break. I'm gone. Yeah, that was. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So, 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 Ben, what's up with the the promo that Shayna cut on Monday? I like. She I like the up. promo. I like the promo a lot, but there's still a disconnect for me. I'm just like, yo, I, I really liked like. Uh, Shayna going out there, you know, giving her all for the promo. I feel like, yo, this could this could be beneficial for her in the long run, but it's still a disconnect for me where I'm just like, okay, y'all been going strong, and now you like talking about she fake as fuck. I'm like, bro, you you we could have had this conversation early. You know what I mean? Like these aren't comp- these aren't feelings that just sprout up out of nowhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like these are like stuff that's been there and been in her system and then when she came back and like let's win the tag titles you could have been like nah you fake 
I don't, I don't want to do nothing with you. I don't want no parts of you. Like, you could have done that. But you could have done that like, when you first got called up then, right? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I mean but I like she could have did that from the moment they put them together as a team. I mean, they've always been a team. They've been a team since they were showing up at NXT shows together. When she was at NXT I mean, stuff, Shana like, was, she could have did all that shit. Shayna was on her team, was on Ronda's team on the Ultimate Fighter. Ultimate Fighter. Fighter. And she got smoked the first episode. I watched that shit. By, she got, <laughs> yeah. She got smoked. Okay, that's why she's a pro wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why she's, that's why she's in WWE now, because she got choked out that bad. No, she got kicked in her head, too. But, uh, that's true. That was, champion. well, yeah, that was, yeah, that was tough. That didn't help. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Well, hey, salute to Ronda, salute to Shayna. Maybe SummerSlam. I don't know if this is just going to be a complete like I don't want to see that, feud. Like you got to do the match. You I, get her I up out of here, man. Because you owe her. You pay her more than everybody else. <laughs> I'm not watching that match. I'm yeah. not watching. I'm sorry. Like with all due respect to both of them, I'm not watching that. I'm going to go get some popcorn. I'm going to take a take a bathroom break or something. I'm not watching that. I don't want to see that. I mean, Sh- if Shayna does it like Brock Lesnar did John Cena, then I'm watching it. Nah, mm-hmm. they got they got to have this match in the Lions Den or something like yeah, something. in the Heart Dungeon. You know what I'm saying? Natty got to be the referee. Put it in the fight pit. Mm-hmm. I'll watch it then. Yo, put it raw. Put it in the no. fight pit. You put it in, not 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 no damn NXT or Raw Underground. Just the whole yeah. Timothy Thatcher, Matt Just Riddle. Oh, okay. Fight pit. Let him go. I'll watch it then. I mean, if you got run around with some hoes there, care. they'd be good. You know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? Not this holeless one. Like, what are we talking about here? NXT. Come on, Sean. You know better than that. Man. Nah, Speaking bro. Sean NXT, can't have go that going switching. on, bro. Got- Sean got Bible study on Tuesday. He can't let – he got no, not Tuesday. He got Bible study on Wednesday. He walk in there, got the, got the hoes all there, like on the raw underground. What are you going to say to his pastor, man? <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna listen, say to this pastor when he says, "Brother Hickenbottom, I gotta talk to you for a second Listen, <laughs> listen, Paul said, <laughs> "Deacon Hickenbottom, <laughs> <laughs> come here, brother, like, no, come, bro, here, come, come over here, man." Like, yo, no, look at me with that eye. Come on, man, you can't. Yeah. Like, I already know, I already know that eye. I don't see nothing. Look at me with the other eye, bro. Come on. The kids see you play drums every Sunday, brother Hickenbottom. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing that we get. You, you think they current events? You think they call Shawn Michaels <laughs> Deke at church? <laughs> HB Deke. <laughs> yo, HB Deke. Yo, yo, what uh, take, we'll take picture with the kids? Or is he like the bishop, like HBK, like in the B is for bishop? <laughs> All right, I'm doing too much. All right, cool. So, anyways, Bishop Hickerbottom. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop Hickenbottom booked your boys in a loser leaves NXT match, and the Creed brothers are no oh. longer. They're no longer. They lost this match to the Dyad. Uh, Schism may or may not have a new member. I don't know if that was Joe Gacy or Tank Ledger. I, I don't know who else has that that frame and that that facial hair. On Yo, NXT. Judas and Brutus lost the grizzled young Schism. Yes, they mm-hmm. did. Yes, they did. So my question to you guys, Raw, SmackDown, where would you like to see the Creed brothers? Marquise, yeah, whatever they want. Oh. I, I, mm, Raw. I don't think Raw has enough tag teams. And it's, an, it's a good enough show for them to become the faces of the tag division over there. I mean... Because we're waiting on New Day to come back. But outside of uh, Imperium, which I think they would have amazing matches with, um, of course, Kevin is sending me on both shows. I mean, there's really – I mean, you got War Machine. I don't call them the Viking Raiders. You got War Machine. (laughs) Not doing um, it. (laughs) I don't call them the Viking Raiders. War Machine to me. Um, You got them. You got – and they're feuding with Alpha Academy. Then you got the male models who are just a job routine. So realistically, you don't have that many teams to really go through. So I would basically just use the Creeds as the cornerstone of your tag division. And then eventually when you do want to separate them, because we all know what's going to happen. They see Julius as that guy. They do. Once it happens, at least you've already established him as like a top tier talent kind of guy who can hold that spot. 
I don't think you can you can't separate uh, niggas that look that much alike. And um, <laughs> it just sounds like you just named something that they should be on SmackDown because you just named a whole bunch of <laughs> tag teams on Raw. I don't even know who's over there on SmackDown. Well, well SmackDown has um, well, you got the um, Profits, you got the Club, you got Pretty Deadly, uh, Pretty Deadly, which I want them to stay f- as far away from Pretty Deadly as possible. Oh, I, no. I want them to have. I want them to eventually go against Pretty Deadly, but Pretty Dead to me, Pretty Deadly should be the faces mm-hmm. of the SmackDown tag division, and then you and have Creed. the Creeds be the faces of the Raw tag division. So eventually, at some point, they collide, and you have two of the best teams in the entire company going against each other. But the SmackDown side of ta- the SmackDown tag team side is completely clogged. You throw the Crees over there, they just gonna get lost in the shuffle. Well, get out there and yeah, swim right. out of it then. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, all right, man. I, can, I I see what you're saying about them going to the money in their yeah. I, I can feel. I like. I kind of want them to join Alpha Academy. Like, shush. Thank you. Oh, like, like, you know what? <laughs> you I'm, know not what? I'm, I'm not opposed to that. That's pretty I'm good, man. <laughs> I could get Gable good, to the main man. event spot one day, man. We're going to be trying to get Gable to that main event. Yeah. They could be the new NWO if you get them over there. That's kind of fire. Yeah, because, yeah, bro, because I just thought about it. Like, SmackDown has LWO. They got the Brawling Brutes. They got Hit <laughs> Row. You know, like, I mean, LWO. Raw has. Raw we, has we, we, we don't, we don't count Hit Row. Hey, check that. this out. Check this out. We don't do that here. We don't do that here. We root we, for black we, people. We we no 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 no. I'm not I'm not rooting against them. I'm not rooting against them. We, but you're no. not rooting for them. I didn't say I wasn't rooting for them. All right, I, I'm not letting I, you we, finish. We, we're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're gonna root for them individually. We're Hit the like button, like hit row. I feel yeah, it. I I root for both. I root for AJ and I root for Ashante. I want to mm-hmm. put them as team. They 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 both individuals because they ain't one as team yet. No, they are gang. I see what you mean. And with that. I'm going to shut up more because he had a great point and I stepped all over it. Now, let's go ahead and talk about uh, somebody that uh, I guess is, uh, they said was old. They said was maybe too old. Yeah. Is he also a barnacle man as well? Yeah, I look, man. <laughs> I don't, I don't man. know. Barnacle I don't know. Don't just do saying. that. Slate Randall, Eli Drake, uh, Max Dupree. <laughs> Barnacle Drake. <laughs> LA Night, man. Let's talk about it, bro. Is it nighttime? The Rock and Stone Cold Fusion Dance Baby gets over. Ben. Ben, <laughs> give it to me, man. What's, uh, All right. Like, what's uh, what's up, week, bro? This week, Kevin Nash gone on his show and said that he feels that LA Night is direct ripoff and nothing special. He feels like he's a ripoff of The Rock. And, like, I just I just feel like I gotta say this. Like you could definitely see those old school elements in LA Night. You could definitely see it like with his cadence, the way he walks out there and everything like that. But it's throwback elements. He's not going out there and saying, like, can you smell what LA Night is cooking or like throwing the people's elbow and stuff like that. Like and and you got a whole lot of people calling him like Calling them a ripoff. I've seen that too, like from other people. But let's not act like dude that was in the group with Kevin Nash didn't take everything that was superstar Billy Graham, put it into his character and act like that man never existed. It was so bad. Superstar Billy Graham had to get an entire new gimmick after Hogan came in and stole all his shit. Like Ric Flair took Buddy Rogers' name, bro. He took that man's whole name. It was like, yo, I'm just going to put that over here in front of my shit. And nobody batted an eye. And it might be a social media thing. It might be a newish thing where everybody likes to, you know, be like, oh, man, he paying homage. Or, oh, he got that from there, that they weren't doing that back then. But, like, I just feel like he just, like, he's a throwback. I don't think he's stealing. I just think, like, yo, he's just, like, picking elements from there and, like, crafting a character together because he's been doing this whole character since TNA. Yeah. Global force. Like yeah. bro, Ponzi scheme. He was Global doing that in the middle force. of a Ponzi scheme, bro. Global a force. Whole... He was the world champion 
during the Ponzi scheme. Yeah. Like, I totally agree with you. I think he's not a ripoff because everything to me feels natural. It doesn't feel forced. He was the same way when he was on the damn reality show that The Rock was hosting like way back when on TNT. Like he's been that larger than life type character. And I respect it because he stayed true to himself. He may remind you of those certain superstars back in the day, but he's not ripping anything off when everything he's done is be nothing but original. And for Kevin Nash to say some shit like, yo, when was the last time your best friend Paul Levesque won the um, world title? What was that, 2016? How old was he? Oh, he was old. Oh, man, I don't want to hear I mean, well, Nash shit. isn't talking about he's old, though. He's just saying that he's stealing from The Rock. Well, you stole from Big John Studd, nigga. Like, <laughs> you want to you keep it a band? Like, everybody gets something from everybody else. Like, that's how wrestling goes. He ain't like, saying otherwise, no, bullet bullet. otherwise, nobody would be doing DDTs and, and suplexes <laughs> and even doing collar, collar elbow tie ups anymore for you wrestling hey. purists out there, you pieces of shit. Like, yo, what are you niggas talking? Right. Hey, yo, man, you, you really said something right there. He ain't saying nothing to Bullet Club. He ain't said nothing. To, and he's not going to say nothing, ever, especially now because the guns are in BC Gold. He's going to keep his mouth shut. He's not going to say nothing to Bullet Club. Like he and may have also, hinted, he may have hinted, but he ain't gonna say nothing. It, and also, not for nothing, the the whole NWO storyline. Eric Bischoff directly admitted he's like, I stole that shit from from New Japan. I just lifted that shit and just put it over here. They had never seen it before. Like, let's not act like anything in any form of entertainment yeah. is original. Let's not <laughs> act like like let alone wrestling where anything is original nothing is new out here everything is rehashed redone people have gotten inspiration from other people and then put those elements into the character or whatever like bro you got like yo the other thing like uh people get these characters from movies music everything like like come on man Speak, yeah, straight up, Nash. You was out there uh, on WCW wearing FUBU, Jordans, all types of shit. Don't act like you ain't never heard of a remix, my nigga. Like, don't do yeah. that. You were super that. shredder. You <laughs> were literally super shredder. You were you you were super shredder. You were the new remix version of super shredder, man. Come on, dog. That's crazy, my G. That's crazy. No. Uh, let's see. Sheena says Priest won, and he's a couple of months older than Knight. He is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He is. Yeah. 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 Priest was old when he was in when he was Punishment Martinez in ROH. Yeah. He was old. He was getting older then. Yeah, he was so, doing like Hank Hill and shit. <laughs> so man, I don't, on it. Yeah, so I don't think that, you know, the age thing shouldn't be an issue. And I don't think the gimmick of LA Knight is an issue. Bro, well, they've been giving old niggas belts for years. Like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> like what are we like what are we even speaking about right now? Like, listen. The more experienced, the better. He's been like he's been champion everywhere else. Yo, Vinny Vegas is for sure. Yeah. Yo, that's <laughs> funny. Salute to G Nation in the chat. Yo, Vinny. Yo, you, you, you. you what was he? Yo, what, wasn't he Oz? Yo, yeah, Oz yep. was for sure. Yo, you, yo, man, Kane was a way better Oz than you. Sure. And he was a dentist before he was Oz. Uh, Listen, all right, Kev. Noob says uh, Oscar is a year older than L.A. Knight. I mean, that's great, but Oscar got titties and shit, and she be cooking, and she's having funny, so Yo. I don't really care <laughs> to compare her to L.A. Knight. <laughs> just, I'm, I'm just saying. I have man. to finish the story. The end. Cody said uh, winning the world heavyweight title from Seth would not be finishing the story. Oh, really? Because it's not. That's not the title he came back to win. He came back to win the WWE championship. They didn't even have this shit when I came back. (laughs) Nigga, you nigga, you need to win something other than a hell in the cell match. You know what I mean? What 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 what, say with with half with half a um well out your left side. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) You know what I'm saying? My my whole left side, you know what I mean? Like Cedric's the entertainer. Like what? What? Do, like you gotta win something. Like how dare you? Nah, bro. Like this just goes on to con- 
to like to further the point that this new world title, this is a consolation prize, bro. Like Cody was like, I don't want no parts of that shit. I'd rather get I'd rather get my brains beat in by Brock Lesnar than ever hold that shit on my shoulder, bro. Cody said, look, uh, Brock don't want it, then I don't want it. Six months to a year from now, that title is going to mean so much more, and Seth's going to do such a great job with it. And then, you know, at that point, when people forget about it being a consolation prize, maybe I'll take a crack at it. It'll never be a consolation. It'll never not be a consolation prize. As long as Cody's in the company chasing Roman, it's going to be a consolation prize. It's going to always feel like that. So was the World Heavyweight Championship a consolation prize when Batista then was hanging there, or did somebody? No, nah, it's that's that's completely different. No, that's the completely different. Of, yeah, it's completely different because the circumstance of why we even have this title in the first place is because they too scared to book this man to lose. Or is it because that nigga got three belts? Well, they gave them to him. <laughs> he, 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 he do does have, he have three belts or not? I, I I genuinely find it funny that he kept the other two. Like he didn't have to, but he kept it, and it's like he keeps stacking them, and he's doing it on purpose to troll people like this. Yeah, but he got a Paul Heyman to carry it around. Me. I genuinely find that hilarious. I enjoy this, it. Actually. Like I, I enjoy that element as well. This is some boxer shit. Like, yo, you're gonna carry in every belt I ever won when I defend this world title. Like, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna let you forget what I won. Like, I he carry like everything. <laughs> That's hard. No, Paul, Paul Heyman carrying everything. He a belt, he's a belt collector with one title. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's recognized as one championship, but he's still a belt collector. He just got hella colorways. <laughs> he looks yeah, like Kurt Angle in two thousand nine or two thousand eight when he was in TNA. He had all the damn titles in one night. Mm. Bobby Lashley. Well, Bobby Lashley had like sixteen belts on him once. I'm like, okay, Bobby, and a headband. Then, I was like, okay, you got the headband on to too, get, Bobby. Okay. And then was trying to get the women's title too. He was trying to get the women's title. That was funny. He was yeah. trying to really want to fade with the women. Yo, and who had an ODB? <laughs> if she well, had it, you know what I'm saying? You, you know what I mean? Hey, man, we can make a case for that. She's All right, well, sh- shit, since we're here and we're talking about it, man, uh, Roman lost on Saturday, of course. He got pinned by Jay Uso, as y'all know. This upcoming Friday, we got Tribal Court. We got to, we, we finna see what the, what's the next chapter of the Bloodline Saga and what's up, what's next for Roman Reigns, the Usos, Solo, and them. Ah, uh, Solo. It was Solo. He's running the, he's running the Bloodline. Light skinned brother from the bank. It's solo. He's yeah, running this. Roman, bigger than Roman, Roman Reigns. Roman finna catch a thumb. He finna catch a thumb. This so be so what happens here? Is this is this just leading us? This is of course the the inception of whatever happens at SummerSlam, I'm assuming. But like what is this next phase, this next chapter of the bloodline look like to you guys? Like what do you guys think is gonna happen next? Like he's just gonna beat Roman J one on one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's I, that's what it's I personally like. would rather I would rather see Roman drop the titles to Jay, but that's not gonna happen. So just get the one on one. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. Because I I we just had this conversation briefly on Saturday after uh Jay pinned Roman. Now, if Jay is the one and he does happen to beat Roman Reigns. What do you say they do with Jimmy Uso? Throw him in the mid card or have him tag with Solo. You can really do anything. Jimmy can Jimmy can cut a promo. He can wrestle by himself. He's got singles victories. You can throw him in the mid card. It's fine. You can keep him in the main event because we all seen Jay and Jimmy both have main event one on one matches and they be good. So you don't have to separate them. You don't have to have one turn on the other. You can just literally have Jay go do Jay do his own thing. Jimmy do his own thing. Solo do his own thing. They brothers. They're going to watch each other back. But you don't have to feel like you got to force Jimmy to be next to him the whole time. Jimmy can go do his own thing, go get the U.S. title. Jay was about to do it before he got screwed out of the match. 
Right. Yeah, I was just yeah. about to head there with that. Like, yeah, he definitely could win the U.S. title or at least be in that division and that conversation with it because Austin Theory ain't doing shit with that belt. Like, they need uh, somebody. Like, I'm like, I'm at the level right now where I take anybody to hold that title over Austin they, Theory. Yeah. Oh, Before speaking of which, man. speaking of which, and and I don't mean to take us left, but or take us back, but um, L.A. Knight, Austin Theory, is that is that is that good enough? For right yes. now? Yes. Yeah. Put a title. I don't care what title you put on this man, LA Knight. Give him something. Because he's constantly beat the bad booking. Yeah. He's done it twice now. Where you gave him the whole thing with the Maxwell Mill models, he beat that. You gave him Bray Wyatt, he beat that. He's organically the most over person in the entire company Mm -hmm. give him something to do besides just be cannon follower for somebody be a job for somebody like give him a real serious program and if they thinking about turning austin theory face you have it right there that's disgusting yeah Yeah. that's disgusting Listen, yeah, they, Austin they, Theory, drop that belt to Dominic Mysterio, you know and I'm saying to let that boy um LA Knight beat him. Boom. You're welcome, <laughs> Paul. Well, they gotta turn LA Knight face, you know, first. And I think that's what they're waiting on. And this is probably the program to do it, because it's like Austin Theory's doing absolutely nothing of note. He's I mean, they just face. Yeah, they just they just seen a he didn't prove Cena right. They didn't have Grayson Waller come out there and do the Austin Theory Cena promo, and he smoked that shit. So, bro, how do you turn he, a nigga face though? Like, so it's, 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 it's organic. It's the same way that the New Day turned face all those years ago when they was just coming out getting booed, and when they went against the uh, the League of Nations, mm-hmm. they magically were faces out of nowhere because it happened organically. Same thing happened with Seth Rollins literally not too long ago. All yep. it took was the theme song. L.A. Knight just comes out, says, no, nah, no, nah, and then immediate pop. Everybody loves yeah. it. So, like, the reaction that he got when he was literal seconds <clears throat> from winning money in the bank, the roof was going to blow off the building. He's that. You have no choice. He's going to be a face no matter what. We're not going to boo him. So you just mm-hmm. got to accept it at this point. Noel says, uh, if you ask me, L.A. Knight turned face when he cooked Logan Paul. Go ahead, Ben. And, like, for L.A. Knight, you got to look at it. Like, he's gotten past the point where they have been, like, acknowledging the fact that the crowd is on his side, even though he is still officially listed as a bad guy. Like, back in the day, like, if there was a bad guy and the crowd was still cheering him, they would completely ignore it. They Like, you'd hear Jerry Lawler be like, this crowd is really – they're really tearing into, you know, whoever while the crowd is actually like cheering him on. And you're looking at the TV like, you know, what the hell's going on? Like LA Knight has kind of made them change that where they've acknowledged the fact that the crowd is on his side. Yeah. Yeah, I think they do need to do that. Okay. My bad. I'm sorry. Uh back to Roman. Yeah. Jay Uso, like clearly. This this rain is not going to end anytime soon because we're we're pretty much three three quarters through. You feel me? It's almost September. It's going to be SummerSlam and then it's going to be Survivor Series and then it's going to be WrestleMania again before you know it. You know what I'm saying? So like for me, ex- yeah, they definitely doing a Saudi show. You feel me? Give us fifty million, run it. Uh, but what I need from this next chapter of whatever the bloodline is going to do, whatever this next phase or this next Iteration, I need Roman to get so violent. <laughs> like he needs to be uh, he needs to be the punisher. He needs to be ripping niggas' heads off. He it's needs to be though. That's what I'm but like he needs to be like 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 this whole thing crumbling before his eyes needs to put him like his back against the wall and in like an act of desperation, like he just destroys everything. One of them Uso nigga got to be Simba, so who, and then Roman Reigns is Scar, and then all the food is gone. You know what I mean? Like, remember when all the food was gone? You know what I mean? The hyenas is mad. You know what I'm saying? They talking shit. They looking at Zazu trying to eat that nigga. They don't want that nigga. 
And like it like I don't know what's going on. And then like one like either Jay's gonna have to pop up and be like, yo, I mean, yeah, man. Like Roman's gonna have to like Roman's gonna have to kick Rikishi in the face or something. That's what he's gonna have to do. Like what like some like there's gonna be some family members gonna get violated in here. Like <laughs> this is what I need. Like I want Roman like I everything needs to implode. Like three years of not losing, three years of abuse, there like it has to like it has to end in the worst way. Like, yeah, like remember Remember in um in too deep, you ain't no cop, J. Reed. Yeah, it has to be something like that. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing like paranoid like Roman Reigns, where he's just like looking over his shoulder all the time. I'm like interested in the character work of Roman Reigns because he's been killing it. He's been killing like these last few years when it comes to that with the promos in the ring. With the with the promos during the matches that he cuts and like the whole like violating the crowd and everything like that, I'm looking forward to that side of it because I feel like he has a lot left in the tank for that. I feel like there are some like avenues they haven't explored with Roman Reigns like being like looking out over his shoulder. He sees like people everywhere trying to like come after him and end his title reign or whatever. Like, I'm I'm down for this next chapter. But I don't see Jey Uso being the one to end that reign at all. He 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 can. I think what you can do is he looks beatable now. Um, he's been pinned. He's beatable. So I feel like this is a way to get him to wrestle on television more often. And this is a chance to give certain people title shots, even if they even if they lose, but. Have him go out there and really put dudes over, even though he's gonna win, still make mm-hmm. these other guys look good because you still need to build up other people. If you plan on him eventually dropping these titles, somebody gotta be the one to step up and you need mm-hmm. some credible challengers along the way. So this would be the time to build up those other credible challengers. You know who's a good challenger for Roman? that we haven't seen enter this this whole bloodline universe or whatever. Also haven't seen him on SmackDown since he got drafted. Y'all talked about him trying to beat up bitches earlier and take their titles. Bobby Lashley. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if you knew what was going on, you know what I mean? But, you know. That would be, that'd be a nice tie over feud, like, for him to like, have stuff in the meantime. You could also have him, like, sizing up Solo Sokoa in the background during like some of these rivalries and continue to carry that bloodline story on mm-hmm. even after like this whole thing with the Usos ends up eventually like ending. And somebody that's just like big enough and just like yo, like credible, like yo, I'm a former champ too. Just like you just like the same way you push Drew to fight him the first time, like the same way you push Kevin Owens, like Bobby is just as credible and I'll beat up your cousin who you who you don't even like anymore. <laughs> so um Yo, that's good. I like that. I'll give him something to do. Keep his mind off of what's going to happen. Like, yo, I think Roman, like, needs to lose to Jay. And then Jay needs to run the bloodline, like, how you really want it. Like, kind of like how Wakanda was running. And then he just watches it from afar and just, like, just, and just, mm-hmm. it just, it just sits there. It just, it just, it just stews in it. And he tries to I'm fight gonna... him again and then loses again. Nah, if he's going to be tribal chief, if Jay is really going to be tribal chief, he can't do that pop locking shit. He, he got to stop that. He got to cut that shit out. Like, you can't, like, yo, you can't be no chief. He can't be breaking shit. character either, man. He got to stop breaking character. No, nah, man. He, he be folding too quick. Yeah. Not Sammy Zane ain't there no more. It, it, but it's, it be happening with Sammy not even there. <laughs> he still be finding ways to break character. Teach him how to yeah. do the, uh, the Chris Brown front flip to, um, to March Madness, and then we'll be all right. No more pop locking. He was whipping and nay and after they won the match on Saturday. Yeah, I was. Yeah, come on, Jay. You can't it's be doing that. Awesome. Now, Tribal Chief is going to be doing that, and that's going to make Roman even more mad. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that. Like, this is why Roman was beating your ass and keeping you, like, gas lit for three years because of this shit right here, bro. Cut that shit out. I chose out your twin to make you quit. Like you know how <laughs> I don't even want that. I don't even want my twin on my team. Like, what do you guys me. think of this? 
J Champ says, here's a crazy idea. Have Bobby reunite the Hurt Business and attack an already broken bloodline, a new group to take over SmackDown. Well, who's who's gonna well well the us the well the Usos are gone, so like it's so it's right. Cedric gotta beat up uh, Paul Heyman, I'm with that. I mean you gotta <laughs> He gonna call him Barnacle Man. You gotta make us take uh, <laughs> Cedric and Shelton serious again. Yeah, like you have to make us take them serious. I don't. Nobody's gonna take them serious. I, I and and I love I love them both. I think they're two of the greatest ever, in my opinion. Because I love what mm-hmm. Ced did in the Indies, and I love Shel- Shelton just being consistent his entire career. But you gotta yeah. give us a reason to care about them, like. They were tag team champions. They were closing out the end of shows in the Thunderdome. Make us care again. It didn't work. You just got to make us care. They just got to stomp out Paul Heyman together. Like stomp him out violently on camera. And then stay away from Omos. Because you, you can't put Omos with them. Yo, what yeah. is he even doing? Nothing. <laughs> they ain't been on TV. Catering. Cedric and Shelton either. Oh, no, They're also man. free agents too, so they can they can go to SmackDown too. Yeah, they can do it every. No way they shouldn't have pulled up to the to the bitchless um, underground. You know what I'm saying? And not kick nobody in the face. Like you, like all y'all want some stuff on there. Yeah. All right, man. I don't know. The uh, Judgment Day is uh, going to be on NXT next week. They're pulling up. I don't know. It's not going to be mad at each other. But it's going to be a long car ride over there. <laughs> Oh yeah, with Finn and Damien. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Like he, he finna, he finna get JD McDonough in there. They're gonna kick Damien out. Damien's gonna turn face, and this is gonna be the 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 face run with the world heavyweight title. Drew McIntyre gonna take that title from from Seth, and then maybe Ben gets his wish, and Damien Priest is a Puerto Rican world champion. Yeah, you you need more than JD McDonough. <laughs> nah, nah, I no, it's not no maybe at this point. It has to happen. I don't put so much stock and talk so much shit about Damian Priest winning the championship. I I gotta have this happen, bro. I'm not trying to look like a fraud like all the time, bro. Do something, man. Like if he got out there and was talking about I might cash in on the Intercontinental Championship. I might cash in on the United States Championship. I'm like, yo, if you don't cash in on a world title, I'm gonna cash in these hands on you, bro. Don't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hate how they made I hate how they made Austin Theory cash in on the U.S. title and then lose because the whole point of the contract was to get a world title, not mm-hmm. a mid-card title, not the Intercontinental World Championship, a world title. And I'm still trying to fix that shit up. They can't. They- <laughs> they still they trying can. to sweep up what he did. They, they like can. when they did the whole thing, and Michael Cole was like, "You could really cash in for a title of whatever choosing you want." I'm like, "How come y'all ain't been saying this for the last twenty years? This shit been around. All I heard is world title, bro. All I heard is you cash in on the world title. I ain't never heard no United States Championship, no Intercontinental Championship shit until this man fucked up and cashed in on the United States Championship. Like that, I, I've never heard that." I personally wouldn't even have Priest cashing off in. I think that's too obvious. Yeah, I would Shit. actually let. I would let. I would put give Finn the world title, but not have Priest cash in on him. I'd wait till Finn lose it, then cash in. You have you still got the world title in the Judgment Day. It's just not with Finn anymore. No, and then that him. goes into your way of getting Priest out the group because now he's got what Finn just lost after he just got it back. So it, it gives them, and then you still got four members with JD McDonough in there. Yo, so if Finn loses it and then like he wins it like right after that shit, like though that would be like an ultimate like ha ha. Finn was like lose his mind, bro. <laughs> yeah. like, ha, Finn would literally be like he wake up and throw hands with this man. Like how dare <laughs> oh you? Like God. how dare you just take this title? Like what's wrong with you? Yeah, he'd be hot. Well, oh well, I got nothing else, man. Um... <sighs> Yeah, Tasha Steeles. She's you. great. She's great. All right. Thank you. I don't know what to do with all these Tesla parts. <laughs> you want a robot? You want a robot that does backflips? You feel me? Hey, check this out. Hey, we we might have to. We might be able to do something. We might be able to do something. I might build a. You, you know the Fox robot? I'm gonna build her oh. one of those. You feel well, me? Ain't gonna charge that motherfucker in the sun. That's Kidding fire. Me. Solar power, you a real nigga. Salute to you, Jizzle. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? We're we gonna make, make that a 
Yeah, we're going to make that work. You feel me? I'm talking about for real. You dig? All right, cool. So with that said, you know, talk about salute to y'all. We appreciate y'all tapping in, tuning in, staying dangerous. You feel me? You dig? I go by the name Oh My God Graham. This is the Public Enemies Podcast. You can catch us at the Enemies PE3 on all social media platforms. You feel me? Beat us there. Don't meet us there. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, when Elon ain't tripping off $8, whatever. You know, I'm talking about it is what it is. But holla at us, man. Southside Gun, Marquis, tell them where to find you. Tell them where to find your list. Whatever you got going on, any plugs, shout outs you want to make? Salute. Yeah, man. Um, shout out to homies on the Grove. Um, nah, but in all seriousness, um, you can find me on Twitter at Southside underscore Gun with two N's. You can find me on Instagram at Say underscore Young underscore Zero. Uh, TikTok, same thing. If you want to find the list, like I said, it's going to be on Twitter. It'll be posted everywhere and i'm now moving it over to instagram things like that got a little podcast on exclusively on spotify called keep it real so you know check it out you got the time man make sure y'all tap in dog make sure y'all tap in jizzle talk to him uh i am my shit um yeah uh, i am trap mcafee i'm yeah that's me everywhere Except on Instagram when I have two E's because they try to get me to get a um a, a grant for fifteen thousand dollars. So um yeah. Uh follow me there. Follow the um the Facebook group is named after us. And yeah, just do that. Give us money. We want yo, to quit our jobs. Yeah, most definitely. Yo, you can follow me, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok at underscore sunrise underscore if you're on if you follow the Twitter. Go to the link tree on Twitter. It'll show you everywhere we are. I'll show you the Patreon. Subscribe to the Patreon. It'll show you the Facebook group. Tap in with the Facebook group. It'll show you the Discord. Everywhere we are. Like I try, like I keep trying to tell y'all, man. Look, I got another call today. They talking about taking an air fryer again, bro. I, I already paid my little payment of fifty-five dollars. They talking about that's not good enough. I need y'all to go ahead and support. I'm trying to keep things in the house, man. They gonna take this laptop. Ain't gonna be no more podcasts, bro. <laughs> ain't gonna be. Ain't, they gonna take this phone. Ain't gonna be no more tweets, bro. Y'all su- support, bro. Support. <laughs> well. <laughs> Ain't gonna be no more funny shit, bro. Did y'all see that Jalen Green video? <laughs> Yo, <ugh. laughs> Yo, man. Um, oh, mom. I just want to say it did make the list. Yo, there you go. There you 764, go. <laughs> giving your homie some clothes strokes. <laughs> Close. Hey man, hey, check this out. With that said, hey, make sure y'all tap in with us next week, same time, same oh place. God. It is what it is. But until then, take care of yourselves and each other. We 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 have to leave. Sorry. This is, this is, <laughs> and they were both over. They were both over six. All I ask is when you lay your head on that pillow at night. You know, I gave you everything I had. You did. I gave you everything I had. Which-